just roll it. Who wants the recap? Uh, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. I can't get the marshmallow Pepsi out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, I guess I could do it. I do need the uh, the inspiration. It was uh, your night. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was yeah. my night. Um, so we spent uh, a good chunk of time at the house after the effects of uh, the session before. Uh, we rested, we ate, uh, we made sure the kids were doing okay. I think I think I don't know if it was last session or not that you guys went and got the uh, the birthday present for. Yep. Uh... That was last session. Okay. Yeah. Um, generally just relaxed day up until the point where we had to leave for uh, two completely separate tonal situations: uh, a date with a genie and a dinner date with a vampire. <laughs> now. Except uh, mine is not romantic. <laughs> you, don't know yet. you don't know where the evening's <laughs> going yet. You don't know. It's a vampire, man. All vampires are inherently a little bit gay. And that's a fact. Beige is our race. I had to I had to fight every single nerve in my body not to cough and spit up my drink when you said that. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> I just wanted to, um so he's a wizard and a wizard. <laughs> that mm, that flashed through my head in the wrong context. <laughs> um anyway. So, we bumped over to, to bumped over to Fizzer Widgets. Talked for a moment about uh, the plan for the evening that I definitely did not make up on the spot. Definitely planned that out ahead of time. Did not make it up on the spot, and we decided a a nice walk by the river and then through the town were going to be our uh, our our evening plans and. We got on it. We we went uh, through by the river for a while. We we talked about various things. I asked uh, Fizzer Widget some questions about his shop and how he operates, about where he gets his stuff from. Uh, then we eventually turned into the city when I had to make that up on the spot. And by make it up on the spot, I definitely planned it ahead of time. And we went, it's just kind of the same racket. We went, we were walking through the city for a bit, uh, threw some questions back and forth, eventually ended up back at Fizzer Widgets, where in, uh, Hansel saw him off and breathed a heavy sigh of relief that he gets to go home and collapse. And Woots yeah, was following us the entire time, relaying shit to uh to Paige. Yeah, you didn't mention to that everybody. was the wingman of the date. <laughs> Which, ironically enough, yes. And now we get to experience the other half of that conversation with Paige in a very, very important meeting. <laughs> oh. And of course, this song's the one that comes up randomly. <laughs> The cadence song. Alright, so we'll pop over to uh, Mansion Bloodmore for uh, Paige's whole deal. You've got important people to meet. <laughs> oh boy. I really hope I don't screw anything up. <laughs> Come on, what's the worst that could happen? We know where you are this time. <laughs> Paige is going to get red wedding, and it's not going to be good.
All right, so you head on in and see Mason rather patiently waiting for you. As a wizard does, you arrive precisely as you mean to. <laughs> Which is exactly five minutes late. <laughs> but you were always early to things. No, no, uh, precisely. Actually, I uh, it would be early. I would. I am the one that's always late. Can I just pass through the corridor? Ah, good evening. Good I hope evening, the yes, night sir. has found you well. Yes, it's been a splendid evening. I hope the same for you. It has not been too bad. Now come, the others wait for us in the meeting. Of course. Heads on in. Follow him. Take a seat anywhere you please. I'm gonna take a seat and right to the side of this guy. Gentlemen, Kinda... as I explained, we have a new member invited into our fold. A young man by the name of Paige. Everybody greets you in turn. Simple tip of the cap. Uh, Miko. -o. Many influential looking faces sit around this table. Uh, one you've met. That'd one be the I man met. sitting right next to you. Oh. <laughs> w when they met him? Um. When was the second arena fight? <laughs> Ooh, man. <laughs> oh, so it's been a long while. But I uh, just, uh, pleasure gentlemen, my name is Paige, at your service. As are we, Master Paige. I think this time we went around the room and introduced everybody. To your pa to your left, Master Paige, is Maurizio Vandalis, Lord Magus of Magical Affairs. He's left. Master Marco Kane, Commissioner of Civil Services. Next in line is Edmund Walesh, Grandmaster over the Merchant Guild. And last but not least, Wilhelm de Schriever, Governor of the City of Nevermore. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Pleasure is all us. Now we understand I that. Of everyone. <laughs> yeah. We understand that we've all been brought together because you require information. Yes, quite quite a lot of information actually. We are kind of in the dark corner at our end. Well, Intel is the very fabric of, well, any operation, really. Yes, see, we are looking... Should I just start saying <laughs> what I want, or do you want to make a list? Because it's quite a bit. Uh, however you might take it. Of I assumed you would come prepared. Important. I am. Well, let's start with the most important. Me and the members of my organization are searching for another organization and its members called the Syndicate. I assume you remember I spoke about it to you once. Yes, I do recall. You furrowed brows around the table as people's interest has been piqued. Do I notice any, like, more, I don't know, aggravant uh, reaction? Not really. Table full of stone faces. 
This is making me more uncomfortable. <laughs> to quote the first Scream movie, everyone is a suspect. <laughs> haven't seen it. Well, that's like a big part of the movie. They're in what we used to call blockbuster video. Ah. <laughs> uh. I used to be in one of those. Not, that's not what that doesn't. And they're pretty I used much you go to one of those a lot. Basically, they're uh, describing the murders that are happening, and they're trying to figure out who it could be. It's a big screen that the guy yells, "Everyone is a suspect." I imagine more like things. this scene from the thing, except except for the blood part. Quite possibly. Hey, are, you the, are you the thing? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta test the blood. <laughs> oh, man. Under I feel like under different contexts, that movie could have easily been a comedy. Oh, yeah. I guess that applies to anything, though, once you make it goofy enough. Uh, all you need to do is change the soundtrack and add some laugh tracks. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. <coughs> As you were saying, Master Peach. Yes, uh, this syndicate organization has been quite at our feet for a while ago. We have failed to capture any of its members. They seem to commit a lot of crime, but we don't know its purpose either. They've been uh, troubling us since... F uh, uh, how much time passed since the last uh, Minor Vandifer? Um, Probably six weeks, give or take. They have been attacking us for about, three, about uh, two months now. We have... We... I can forget the word. We think that the organization is quite enthralled in this, in the government, probably from this city. You don't say. Yes. I love that I'm doing we voices are... without ever explaining which of these characters is responding to you. <laughs> I. They all have different accents, anyway. you just gotta kind of pick it up. Yeah. Also, if you guys remember the prison accident from a while ago, we discovered that the prison was also owned by the Syndicate. And right under my nose, too. We have the name of a few members that we both eliminated and found out, and they're going to put the names on the table. Alright. You just carry like a mini version of the fucking cork board on you at all times. Yep, <laughs> except it's like rightfully written, not made with crayons. It's like an investigator's yeah. notepad with actual yeah, intellectual some... notes written into it. <laughs> yeah. We just had Scribbler make a bunch of copies of the same board. Oh, poor fella, trying to read everything. I mean, he can read fine, it's just talking that's an issue. Yeah, I know, but, you it's know, Spoon was Spoon's the one that wrote it. We've already established that Spoon has good handwriting, he just isn't very intelligent in the way he writes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like how all of, everyone I know calls the exact same way that Spoon writes, and it's that they just, they call, they say one line that gets the point across, done. And it pisses me off every time. <laughs> yeah, you pass your list around the table. Everybody gives it a glance. Now you say you've killed these men. Yes, yeah, some of these. As a matter of fact, uh, especially so I don't look like I'm on a manhunt, most of these attacked us before we even met. How curious! And I'm talking full on, and I'm talking full on as assassinations. 
one of these, as a matter of fact, we met in the arena and only found out after. Hmm. It seems like these people are following you. It seems they, they already know of your existence. Perhaps you might seek asylum with the guards. Don't worry about it. I can protect myself. Clearly. Well, for the syndicate, that's the first part. Oh, we are most uh, actively looking for the priest here in the, the not the priest, the the dragon in this. But most information is good. Now, second, this one is more of a mystical find how interesting <laughs> we sorry i just dropped my dice everywhere <laughs> sad we just roll anything good <laughs> uh I, actually i rolled an at 20 now that i'm looking at it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We are looking into some items of... The fuck, the fuck was, was that? that? My bad. That's my, that was my ringtone. I forgot to silent my phone. <laughs> Why is that your ringtone? It's, what is wrong it's just, with you? What? It's just fucking... It's Neko Arc, man. What's wrong with that? That offends I, me for somehow. God. I... I like everything Nostu makes, and that includes the bullshit he makes. I mean, I can't really complain. My ringtone's the Imperial March. Oh, mm. But that's cool. <laughs> My ringtone Your doesn't body. exist. If, uh, I always have it on silent mode. I have to remember to mute my phone every time I record. Because, <laughs> uh, who likes getting sued by Disney? Who likes getting sued by Disney? Nobody That's likes right. it, but everybody does it. So as I was <laughs> saying, we we received from a powerful seer a while ago a prophecy. Part of it has already come true, but the rest we are still trying to find such items and I also give each of them a paper with the prophecy these wondrous items that we are looking for we have very little clue in them one of them and i take the staff out and, uh, you know make it 10 foot is already in my possession but the rest we have no clue How curious, and you say these are powerful artifacts. Yes. Hmm. Each of them is also protected very, very, <laughs> protected very hardly. This one, and I point to the staff, was protected by a dragon. Well, dragons have been known to store great hordes. Commonly containing magic items, if you'd believe it. Yeah, uh, a dragon leech, to me more expe uh, uh, specifically. How odd. One has not been identified in at least three centuries. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see one again, believe me. Speaking of. That is uh, that Dragon Leech spoke to us and revealed some information that I also am seeking for a while. I am looking for the Leech Gogoroth. The name does not ring true for us, unfortunately. Yeah, neither did for me, but we, he and I have some past together. Can call it that.
Surely if we gain any information, we can pass it along. Yes, and... I believe the next part is... Souls. Actually, what makes a powerful soul? We received some more... Mystical arrangements, and that says it seems to play a big part in that. Well, I don't think I can state what constitutes a powerful soul. Yeah, I've been researching for a while, but no, <laughs> no, no further advancements on that. what more oh yeah uh, oh that's great I remember I was going to say then I forgot again <laughs> uh, come on you are you are in magic voice chat with me help me <laughs> that doesn't mean we can hear everything that they're saying <laughs> are you trying to recall <laughs> <laughs> Because Hansel just picked up his day. Yeah, like 10, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I think that they know where they're going, but they're just walking. Ooh, I should probably ask for uh Acer ancient ritual so we can finally recharge the goddamn Mimir's eye. I know we actually have Mimir to ask, but you know I, I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro did split me in half. Oh wait, it gets worse. <laughs> oh god. That's not that doesn't uh that doesn't in invite any confidence. <laughs> Should. Well, and I guess for my last request, we are looking for ancient Aesir rituals. Aesir are a kind of folk that might have disappeared a long time ago. Yes, I do recall reading historical texts saying the Empire died many, many years ago. Kind of tore themselves apart from the inside out, if you believe it. Eh, I can't believe that. Uh, is, which one is this voice? Ah, uh, that's Edmund. Edmund, okay. I like him. <laughs> I believe this is all the the research that we are have uh, are having trouble finding. Well, we'll do our best to gather the information you require, and we shall speak again on the matters. I thank you all very much, and I respectfully bow and leave. <laughs> All right. I, I hope I hope that was my time to leave, right? Huh? I, I hope that was my time to leave, right? Otherwise, it's going to be look very weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's up to you, really. Yeah. So. You should uh, finish your dinner. Yeah, let's finish the dinner first. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine, like, I set up a whole dinner for somebody, they ask a fuck ton of questions, and then they just leave. <laughs> well, it's not so that much dinner as please. it is, like, wine, biscuits, finger sandwiches, stuff like that. Yeah, fair enough. I think I just, you know, stay for my conversation, trying to form connections with the higher-ups. That's yeah, gonna only go great. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, Paige just spilled like every secret of our whole organization to a group full of yeah. people he's just met most of. What could go wrong? 
I mean, that's our whole objective by coming here. Also, none of you said anything. <laughs> that would be meta game, man. Yeah. No, it's not. We are in literally magic voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, technically, it's psychic voice chat, but... I think it's a weird phone tile, because I think you only go to, like, uh, Woods, but then Woods is relaying it to someone else, and I'm bouncing all these <laughs> messages all around. Yeah, I don't, know how, I don't know how much Hanzo can really do. He's got more to think about at, at this time. What's the He's question? Totally... I... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> At the time of this conversation, he was being wooed by a genie. So, you know. Not I don't the think first thing on his mind. To... Not, not exactly, like, at the forefront. <laughs> the only, I would say, the only person I'm at all concerned about in this meeting is that one of them is the governor. I feel like we're kind of right that the government can't really be trusted. <laughs> You got civil, like, the civil service there. I mean, isn't that just like the entire government process, the bureaucracy of everything? Yeah, more or less. Uh, that is. Yeah, no, I... found some interesting things. I do have a question. In the meeting, did anyone like pay more closer attention to me or look at me weird? Well, I mean, the whole point of them was to be paying attention to you. Yeah, so. <laughs> did anyone look at suspicious while doing that? A room full of because government officials not looking... looking suspicious? I think that's an oxymoron. <laughs> you are right in that. <laughs> the moment of real, like, you know, you can, you can tell some, someone's eyes, uh, they have like, oh, they have like a realization, like, oh, they recognize what I'm saying, or asking. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's a fair bit of intrigue. He brought up a lot of information they likely would not have known, so... Mixed reactions abound. Can't I should probably inform him of the... What was the name of the group of assassins that the Syndicate has? That uh, was the hand yeah. thing, oh, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, oh yeah, I should also tell you gentlemen about... The Hand, they are a group of assassins hired by the Syndicate. Now this they... is a name I know. Oh. Yes, we've been keeping this... tabs on them for quite some time. Unfortunately, we don't know any of their true identities, so bringing them to law is not exactly an easy thing to do. Yeah. We also have some of them follow us. As, I, as you might have figured out, since I'm here, they did not succeed. Well, then. Sustaining areas. Sorry, right, what were you saying? I was kind of like saying to Paige, can you like, can you ask? Assuming Paige is like kind of someone mentioning this, uh, could you ask about any suspecting areas that the hand might linger in or have been spotted? Yeah. Uh, do you know? You said you have been keeping an eye on them. Do you know any place where they are active? They seem to strike when they are needed and vanish just as quickly. So, no gathering place or any clues like that? Not that we have uncovered as of yet. Good. Now, do you have any further questions? We are busy men and have much to do. I do not. It was a pleasure meeting every single one of you. You get the typical farewells. 
And they leave. All right. I give bye to the orc butler. <laughs> or half orc, I don't remember. Uh, half orc. Half orc. Why do either of us remember that one tidbit? <laughs> because it was so, I think it was so just genuinely like, the butler, <laughs> the butler, the, the kindest men and the most subservient is a fucking orc or half orc. That's wild. <laughs> Lost the house map for a second there. No. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was expecting them to be more aggressive with the question. It's just the thing, you don't want to show your cards before it's necessary. True. Yeah, the three of you arrive home roughly at the same time. <sighs> Krell's just kind of chilling in the living room. What a, what a night. Now we have, now we, have uh, uh, we can sit and wait for information to come our way, kind of. Though I imagine I we make... have other things to take care of. I can I make a rose with minor illusion? Sure. <laughs> so, how was the date, my dear? And I put the rose on Hansel's shoulder. How did uh, you reach that? <laughs> Mage hand. Fair. Uh, Paige barely moves his arms anymore since he developed telekinesis. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was nice. I had a good time. Very is uh, rather peaceful, all things considered. Though I think any any walk by the river will do that. It's a good time. And how was uh, how was your uh, your meeting? Eh, you know, meeting with the higher ups, stressful. They look at you like they are some sort of maggot. At least the wine was good. At least the wine is good. Okay. Priority. They I, said they would priority keep in mine. touch until they could uncover more information. I see. Well, this, hopefully they they keep to their word. I will uh, assume they will until I have reason to assume otherwise. Well, if we, we are right, one of them is probably with the Syndicate, so we should expect some kind of attack soon. You didn't give them our address, did you? Uh, of course not. Just everything right. else. Then, as long as they don't come for the house, it's fine. They can come for us all they want, they just shouldn't come for the house. Let's just hope Spoon didn't paint the name of her organization on the side of the manor or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is the house of the division, directly <laughs> opposing the syndicate in parentheses. The and the giant house spends for fucking... some reason the, the whole time in the afternoon screaming the name outside. He's <laughs> <laughs> like trying to scout more people. <laughs> Just out there with crudely drawn crayon flyers. <laughs> hey, you want to kill some bad guys? <laughs> it's, it's good work, let me tell you. Pays well, kindness. Sometimes we run out of money, but that, that's when it gets really interesting. Because then we need to make more money. 
Mm. A lot of what ifs in this campaign. I think D and D is just a game of what ifs. Kind of. Technically, yes. Could possibly uh, have said a braver statement than this game about imagining things has imagination in it. Well then, it seems like everybody's had a productive day. Uh, I don't know if productive's the right word, but it was a day, that's for sure. And you, sir, need a shower. That is true, yes. I am actually <laughs> fucking drenched. <laughs> Just soaked in sweat. <laughs> I will be on my way. Ah, uh, no, not again! Let this token dragging shit again! Stop! <laughs> Why is this a problem? Uh... Oh, I, think it's, I think it's genuinely my mouse. Like, I bet if I did it with my trackpad, it would be fine. Oh no, never tried this on a laptop. Yep. Also, also what? No, it's... My mouse has a weird double-click problem. I need to get a new fucking mouse. Uh, so what? The suit you made me really good. I felt so many envious stares. Well, pleased you liked it. <laughs> anyway, what are our plans for tomorrow? Is the weird old guy still in the workshop? Oh yeah. The actual, literal, divine being. The weirdo guy. <laughs> yep. Listen, we've met enough deities at this point. It's just kind of commonplace. We live a some dude. life. <laughs> <laughs> just some dude. Well, he introduced himself as so um, somebody, and I'm like... Okay, it's somebody, but I don't know who this person is. Which just internalizes all the media information and doesn't hear anything else. Yeah, he seems to know something, so that's good to know, but... I still think it's some guy. <laughs> he could blame himself for introducing himself as some guy. Some people like to have an air of mystery about them before they reveal grand plans. He did say his name didn't matter at the beginning. Wait, his name was unimportant. That's yeah. So it, this is just some guy that's unimportant. That's how he induced himself. <laughs> yeah. That's his, that's his full name. Some guy unimportant. <laughs> Nickname Mimir. <laughs> Nickname Mimir. <laughs> so yeah, uh, while Hansel goes take a shower, Pange goes to uh, Page goes to sleep. Girl's got nothing going on tonight. She already finished her big project. How late is her it? Project. Yeah, she was actually working in the workshop for the first time since it was built. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the workshop is where Spoon does all of his wood carving now. All Probably his carpentry. My wood shavings <laughs> like all over the floor. I can if but I can fucking. That he will eventually can... clean up. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'll get a broom eventually. If I can do chisel work, right, I can also do carpentry. For some reason, even though he's tried like 11 times, every chair he made is slightly tilted. <laughs> Damn it. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> 
that would that would be like the best way to piss him off is like he could be doing it just right and he sits in it and it works perfectly and then someone comes in and just like cuts an inch off of one of the legs <laughs> like not even an inch just a couple millimeters just enough to make it wobble <laughs> Uh, reminds me of I think, uh, I think I would piss anybody off. It's like Dragon Ball the Bridge when Cell keeps fucking up the arena. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother me. It doesn't green? bother me. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me greatly. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's still green. Damn. This thing does not, does not like. Me. I don't know what I did to it, but it it's not a fan of me. It's because I don't have a proper surface for you to function on. Is that it? Is it a you ball like mouse or a laser mouse? It's a laser mouse. That is weird. It's just like it just double clicks sometimes, and I have no idea why. I think it has to do with, like, because, like, the whole bit up to the logo is what you can click. Hmm. Oh, Weird. Is, is tomorrow going to be the birthday preparation day? Day after tomorrow, but we're kind of time skipping a little bit. <laughs> it's not like we have anything happening tomorrow. Yeah, we're just kind of skipping to important events. <laughs> Unless you have something you need to do tomorrow. Yes, does the staff know about the twins' birthday? Uh, at the very Dude. least, Chori does. Maybe Scribbler. Maybe Scribbler, okay. So I think that was what's <laughs> planned the next day. He would, like, wake up ridiculously early in the morning, wait in the kitchen until Chori comes. Probably scare her because I'm waiting in the dark. It's just <laughs> sitting at the table in the dark. Oh, no, I'm in off. the kitchen. I want to make sure no one knows I'm, like, there. And I want to kind of mention, like, hey, the twins' birthdays are, like, happening. <laughs> I don't know what people do on their life day. But they definitely deserve something nice or their something... Hey, that's what I think what's gonna like say I'm like I don't know what a birthday is but life day seems a correct term Got too many characters in this household did not have a birthday and it's weird yes yeah, he even then it's life day we'll just celebrate life that's what <laughs> that's a good thing would Hansel <laughs> even celebrate his birthday mm. life questions. You can ponder it on life day. Because, <laughs> like, would you still celebrate your birth after you've technically died? <laughs> who knows? Who, who really knows? You should You're know. Right, I gotta rename this character. to something else now. <laughs> Paige doesn't have a clue. He was found in the woods. <laughs> it's gonna, not gonna be life day. It's gonna be name day. That's what everyone remembers when they got their name. Or given their name. Well, Krell's had three over the course of this campaign, so... Fuck. <laughs> okay, we're going back to life day. <laughs> and Paige has had two. Wait, so I... But I've been given life on two separate occasions, so, like... We'll celebrate each. This works. Uh... But then again, you never told us, so I'm just gonna pick a random day for you. Yeah, why not? You're yeah, just gonna wake up enough. one morning and Paige is just or Moots is just gonna be standing over your bed with a like hastily made birthday cake. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> and, and, her, and his first words are I decided today is your birthday. <laughs> oh my god, I'm writing that down so I don't forget. <laughs> Surprise <laughs> on so yeah. on a random day. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to mention to her because I wasn't sure if people had plans. And, um, 
Also, I'm curious what the toy I grabbed for um uh, for the the boy. His name's Luca. No, someone else. Joshua. Jo oh, who the fuck is Luke then? I don't think there is a character named Luke in this campaign. You might have okay. just made it up. <laughs> I guess so. Luke is on a different level. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yo, what's the gift I got for I was for about to say, Luke? one of my main villains was based on a character named Luke, but y'all didn't figure that shit out. <laughs> Did Woods warn the rest of the party that it's going to be the twins birthday? Well, Crow was with her for the present getting, so... Yeah, I think, I think they did tell us, we were like, we really gotta... We gotta stay on top of what's happening with these kids. They live yeah, in Yeah, I would have house. mentioned it. If, if not yesterday, then this uh, the day before. So you guys better think of something. Paige is gonna help bake the cake. Um, I can... I can help with... Uh, help... I'm assuming Woods is going to handle decorations, so I can help with that. Well, I mean, have any of you thought about until... gifts? Gifts. For, uh, uh, I, I forgot. Children. Gifts. Uh, need to go out and buy some... What, what do they like? I don't know anything about these kids. They live... I, I've been here only like a month now. I don't know anything about these kids. Or oh. Yeah, I think it would be like... Cause What's is kind of in the same boat? Like I don't know much about kids. I don't really hang out with them that much, but I know it's important. Get them something a toy. Oh something boy, I'm going to, to our old. Uh, I'm going to our old Discord server for the last one event of her for the present. And then going to the old Discord server that we used for the, our, our last campaign for the present. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you know we had an old Discord server when we played the last yeah. minor Yeah, Right, but what, what does that have to do with the present for the kids? <laughs> because there's a message fix there for crafting magic items. Oh. Oh dear god. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's nothing super fucking. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get them a a harmless uh, magical trinket. That would be nice. Not yeah, something just... like Woods is uh, straight up chaos magic pendant. Like that. I just, uh, I just want a couple of bracelets so they know the other one is safe. Oh, that's clever. So, yeah, DM, <laughs> how much would that cost because I didn't find anything? I'm not even sure if there's an item like that. That's why I try to search for crafting magic items. A gift. I know I just got the one for Joshua in case, you know, just for them, but now I can try to think of another gift to give them both. You said Joshua was leaning towards a rogue? Um... I think so. <laughs> and then you say Lara was more a druid? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, I have a plan for each gift. Or, no, this is one, this is one personally from Woods. And Crow already got them gifts. <laughs> oh. Well, didn't get, but made. Crow was prepared. Also, I need to find a place with nice plants, even if it's in someone's front yard. Well, I mean, magic we items, have our just own garden. <laughs> no, I need a new plant that, I don't know, rich people have nice plants. I'm gonna dig up a, one of the... <laughs> it just digs up a whole oh. rose bush and walks down the street with it. <laughs> it just, it just fucking hit me. Wow. <laughs> I'm going through the magic items. 
I came across one, it's, a, it's an axe called Bob. And I was like, what, why is it called that? And then I read the ability, it's like it floats on water, and it gives you advantage on strength athletics to swim. And I was like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I was like, oh, it's like a, it's like a water Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Tomb of Annihilation. We really needed that. <laughs> That campaign's going hilariously still. Yeah, we had three people almost drown last session. <laughs> These are not trinkets. I can't... <laughs> Typically a magical trinket uh... would just be a lesser version of a magic item that already exists. Like, Paige can Clockwork easily base... A couple of charms of connection based on the sending stones we already have. This tiny dog that sounds perfect. I, 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 I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's cute. A clockwork dog? Oh, I've seen this that, yeah. This tiny clockwork dog made out of copper and tin comes with a copper wind-up key. As an action, use the key to wind the dog, after which it follows you for 12 hours. At the end of the duration, the clockwork dog stops until wound again. I this, want one in real life. It has 5 AC and 1 hit point. A lot. I'm gonna get them a fucking clockwork dog. I mean, that works. Give it some kids like, a pet. Add to the yeah. treasure trove of pets we already have in the house. This one can be turned off and on, kind of. You it's don't have to clean up after it like all the other pets in the house. Exactly, just get them some, uh... Well, you might... except for Maurice, but he's not really a pet. <laughs> yeah, Maurice is a battle creature. He's our companion. You know what's hilarious? <laughs> We have not been in an opportunity where Paige can polymorph Maurice. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Maurice wouldn't even know what to do. He would just be like, oh, I'm a... I'm a... You could turn him into like a giant buffalo. That would be sick. That's when he would know what to do. He'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. I'm already this. I know what's up. Or like a triceratops or some shit. A rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Something similar, but stronger. <laughs> this is a fun game. I try my best. <laughs> You're talking about transforming a... I made a note of the dead. Triceratops. <laughs> Whoever is trying to break into our house is going to be <laughs> facing a really angry ox that for some reason looks like a triceratops. Yeah, just We've have like a it. glyph of warning under our welcome mat. <laughs> if someone not identified <laughs> steps on it, just transforms Maurice and oh sends God. him raging. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck it. Next that's time we have really... free, uh, you know, free time. That's what I'm gonna do. I think glyph of warning only takes like an hour, you but you also need to know the spell. Yeah, I don't have the spell. Can I, I technically in... use the the homebrew book spells to make any spell? More or less. But it has so to be one that it. doesn't exist yet. I can make <laughs> Glyph of Warning just slightly different. <laughs> Why is the first item that comes up on the item list an abacus? What would you Because it starts with for? A B. And for counting. <laughs> also, I Why? also I think it's a particular background's one of their flavor items. Ah, that makes more sense. Oh god, there, that's falling out. Let's see here. Oh, no glyph of warning. What was the thing you said? The charm of connection. Yeah, I made that up on the spot, so... <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. As long as they are on the same plane of existence, they can know 
uh, roughly where each other is and if they are safe. Fair. <laughs> roughly like in the same city, but nothing closer than that. Yeah, we don't want to be putting GPS trackers on these kids. Well, only they will know. <laughs> Not us. Alright. So the day passes on. Cake baking is made. What kind of cake y'all making? We can use the cherries. Good one. Or Let's go, make I guess go get some cake. more cherries. Let's make a three layered cake. The first one. Uh, you guys are American. You say the the types of cakes you have there. Man, if you can think of it, there's probably a cake for it. And and that's that's the honest truth. They should prepare, bro. Here's the thing, for some reason, every single cake here, instead of just saying, I don't know, like, oh, chocolate cake, we have a nickname for it. And they only know the nicknames. Lose. Well, you are yeah. making the cake, so. That will take. Orange cake that has cherries in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know, the first like, layer like, chocolate, the second what do they one. Call that? Victorian, yeah. that's that's the type of cake. I think, right? Because that's like the cake that has jam on it. It would be like cherry jam. No idea. <laughs> I think I'm right. I don't know nearly enough about baking. God, fuck this stupid mouse. I'm gonna I'm really gonna get angry angry about this. Alright, there. I will okay, use the uh, trackpad. And heel cake. So yeah, let's make a part chocolate, part anthill cake, and the top uh, vanilla. Okay, describe to me what an anthill cake is. Because I've never you heard of it. I have want to Google no it. childhood. <laughs> I probably it's, know what it is, but... <laughs> you I might use different words for it. <laughs> I'm Googling. It's no, very... I, I, Googling. It, it, I have the picture already. birthday cakes ideas because that's how I'm narrowing it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've had those before. That's so good. Yes. I don't know what we're talking about. An anthill cake? I sent the picture. Oh. Let me take a look, Fee. Oh, gotcha. I think marble cake. Yeah, it looks like a marble it looks like a marble pound cake. Oh good though. I fuck with pound cake. Languages. So weird. Interestingly oh, enough, it's Russian in origin. Well. Or you know. Oh, I scroll down and the first thing that pops up is Brazilian anthill cake. So yeah, that makes hey. sense. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try butchering that Portuguese. Oh, you can. It's going to be funny for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do I have like five fucking tabs open on my phone? We all wish we knew the answer to that question. I've got truly so many things open that I'm just not using. Yet you wonder why your phone's always dead. My phone never dies. I don't think I've genuinely had my my phone die. But ever since I swapped from uh, an iPhone to an Android, I don't think this shit's ever died. That Android, that, they're, they're not joking. That Android battery life is supreme. The day goes on, you make your fanciful cake with Shori. Curl's just kind of playing around with the kids most of the morning. 
Next safe fun. Because other people Not look down much. upon the non safe fun. <laughs> I think I found. I think I found the right thing. Bitch. Bro, look at this. Just present, and I'm gonna make a huge, like, clock banner that says Happy Life Day. And Bitch, it's just gonna be looking okay. colorful. <laughs> look at this. I found a little metal dog. But it acts like a real dog when you wind it up. Wow. It, it's, it's fucking incredible. I want That's... one, but I'm getting it for the kids. You could have just bought two of those. Well, I didn't, alright? I didn't think about it at the time. I thought it was a toy, and then there. I tried it, and it wasn't a toy. Well, <laughs> it's great. We have another pet, and thankfully this one doesn't produce any type of uh, dirt. It doesn't leak, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't... Maybe it will, but uh, we have you and me. We have spells to fix that. Sure. And by you and me, I mean me, because you're not going to clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In total, we have an know, owl, a cat, a ferret, a dog, and a mouse. <laughs> and an ox. Dog. Look at the ox. <laughs> I'm not counting him as a pet. He's a member of the family. <laughs> True. We will I don't think all the cat, the cat is like a weird phantom, isn't it? So it doesn't produce any waste either. Oh, it just floats around. Oh. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. It's no different than anything created by the Find Familiar spell. It's just nice. localized to the house. Instead of being localized Actually, to a person. All are familiar, so I don't think any of them produce waste. Well, the mouse is an actual animal. <laughs> oh, so the animal, pro uh, so the rat produces. Mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse, not a rat. I take offense to that. Probably. I am a rat. <laughs> the word is the same here. My go-to Spotify playlist is called You're a Rat. <laughs> don't, don't ask any questions. Basically, mouses, mice, English, are much smaller and uh, more cleanly, I guess the word would be. It's not completely accurate, but it's hard to describe the difference between a mouse and a rat. I, I kind of have a clue about it. I just think that since the words translate to the same thing, it's kind of confusing. Okay. They're very similar. The main difference is size. Yeah. I always imagine like a mouse, a very small white rat, and rats like fucking huge. And black, or for or brown for. I was say both of them have multitude colors of fur. Confirm. As the Rat King, uh, yeah, rats can be pretty big. <laughs> Generally, a mouse is smaller than your computer mouse. Well, a rat could eat your computer mouse. <laughs> yeah. The day of mouse rat will uh. Or your or computer rat will really uh, will come to fruition. There we go. I just I just came up with like the next entrepreneur dropship product. Mouse rat. No computer Jeez. rat. God damn it. <laughs> Fucked up your own pitch. <laughs> Man, I'll never get back on Shark Tank. <laughs> I wouldn't go on Shark Tank. Those guys seem like assholes. They are. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, eventually everybody gathers for a uh, birthday celebration. Start dragging people in here. Shit, shit, shit. Stop. Stop. I was so happy about the fact that I got- I could get Glyph of Warding that I forgot to fucking... Cause I know exactly how I'm gonna use it. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Just teleporting through walls and floors, give me a second. It's just another moment of chaos in my life. Oh, your life's a lot to become- about to become a lot more chaotic. What? What do you? What is it? What you? What do you mean by that? 
Which would also sick. poke his head in the workshop to invite um, Meneer. Because once again, I think he's just <laughs> like some guy. I feel kind of rude because he's still just there. <laughs> Focusing on yeah. casting. Takes a while to build the working portal. Like, as you walk into the workshop, not only is he casting, but uh, his movements are like super naturally fast. <laughs> as if uh, time is moving way faster in the sphere around him. The children are having a birth or life day party. You're welcome to join. You seem busy. Want me to save you a piece of cake? <laughs> Your words would have gone by entirely too fast. Basically, he's weeks, months, way faster than the time around him. Like, that part of the floor is probably going to need some repair. <laughs> well, he's all knowing, so I think he knows what I said. I'll just give a thumbs up and leave. <laughs> oh my fucking god. And now Chronomancy is officially canon in this universe. My, my, my favorite professor, Arthur Eggfort, once said, Chrono it's not friendship is not the best magic. It's chronomancy, you fucking idiots. Jesus. Friendship is the greatest magic of all. No! It's chronomancy. I don't know. I feel like gravamancy is a little bit better because gravity bends time. Mm. And you get up there and spells, yeah, you could at ninth level stop time, but at ninth level, I could create a black hole. Mm. At ninth level, you can summon just straight up actual literal meteors. Or, if you're not summoning them, you are pulling them to Earth. <laughs> Which is, that's a little fucking crazy. Yeah, I want to create a zombie that will around. probably die in the first round of combat because it's super weak. Uh, Krell can literally scream your brain to mush. Yeah, we're going to be getting to that level eventually, <laughs> and that is terrifying. Finally finished raiding the final is... boss, so yay. Magic is yeah. strong and scary and... <laughs> <laughs> it does... Cr like, I'm, st I'm still so like... Boy, there are barely any ninth level cleric spells. Well, how many spells do you really need after you could be like, Yo, God, you got this one? For sure, homie. See, <laughs> see I mean, that, that, that implies you're a 20th level cleric, which I will not be. Well, you have to be a 20th level cleric for your God to not be able to say no to your request. That's true, yeah. And I think the, the role should do the role. I forget if the divine intervention chances get better as you level up or not it's based on your level isn't it it's like if you I roll don't know. I, haven't, level. I haven't played a cleric in forever well let me fucking look real fast because it's right here and I can just check yeah everybody uh, gather around Chori and Paige bring out the uh, cake and the uh, juices Pretty much everything you'd find at a children's party. Uh, at the end of the table, there's just a pile of ants that everyone has procured in various states of proficiency in wrapping. Woots has got all of his banners and decorations up. I think. Yeah, so it's... If you roll equal to or lower than your cleric level on percentile. Leesh. So, 
and anything more than less than 20th level, that's one in five chance. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's better than nothing happening. It's better than nothing, and considering that it's actual, literal, divine intervention, it's usually pretty devastating when it does happen. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, if you're a 19th level anything, and you need to call on God... ...forget for seven days, then... <laughs> And then you get ignored for a week. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much the whole household is here. Uh, Tiz will probably yeah. drag Druxus along because he wouldn't have wanted to come. Because it's totally not his scene. But, uh... Eh. Kids will do that to you. And Scribbler okay. and Chori have a pretty good relationship with the kids already, as well as Spoon. Spoon's probably the most excited. It's probably been a while since he celebrated a kid's birthday. Because uh, Whisk would have outgrown them many years ago. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, they grow all, all the kids reach reach old age by the time they are 12, so... <laughs> That's not... They don't reach old age, they just look mature. They, they're still mentally children. That's like, like yeah. uh, if you just got, like, some disease that made you taller. That doesn't mean you're not a kid anymore. It's just... So, you know, your so what people? you mean is exactly what happened to Hansel. <laughs> Hey Renzo, uh, Renzo, what's your opinion about squirrels? Squirrels? I mean, they're okay. They're like, some of them are fat and that's cute, but some of them are just kind of like, they exist. I've never seen them do anything aside from like, just stand there and then run away. So, uh, uh, it's fine. So you don't absolutely despise them? No, squirrels are squirrels are fine. Ah, my my theory did not launch. Did, do you hate squirrels? No, spoon does. Oh. Okay. Now, now, today's about the children. Keep your petty squabbles oh, yeah. to yourself for now. Chori being ever the matron. And they present their cake to the children. Everyone sings a very copyrighted birthday song. Uh, that shit's not public domain. That's wild. It's not. Somebody privately owns that's, it and sues the crap out of everyone that does it. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like trying to put a copyright on fucking, like, shanties that came from, like, the 1800s. That shit... You don't own that! Some random guy in a really bad wood-rotten shack wrote that, and you're like, Yep, that's me, I own that. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, the the classic birthday song is copyrighted? Yeah, Google that shit. Oh fuck. That's a that's a certified uh Disney moment right there. If I remember correctly, the copyright translates or er, transfers across language barriers too. I remember the exact <laughs> wording. But it doesn't matter what language you sing it in. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, it says it's in the public domain in the United States and European Union. Is it? It might have been a while ago that that happened. Hmm. Or maybe it's a different song that's celebratory. 
I'm pretty sure it's that one. Well. That's my opinion. Bitch. Apparently it also holds the Guinness World Record for uh, most recognized song. At a children's birthday party, discussing the uh, history okay, of, yeah. <laughs> of the birthday song. Yeah, I'm reading. Uh, Warner Chapel Music had previously claimed copyright on the song in the U.S. and collected licensing fees for its use. In 2015, the copyright claim was declared invalid, and they had to pay back 14 million in licensing fees. <laughs> 14 million! Wow. They let them get away with that for way too long. <laughs> Fuck those guys. That's some shit you would see a villain in, like, Mother do. Alright, so we enjoy our cake, and now it's, uh, present giving time. Uh, who wants to go oh, first? Good. Well, first uh, Joshua was well. gonna go, cause oh. uh -huh. it's his sister, <laughs> you know. So uh, he hands her the tiny, uh, not very well wrapped box. He didn't know what the hell he was doing, but he wanted to do it himself. By God, yeah. She opens it up to reveal uh, Oscar the Guardian Bear, the little teddy bear that uh, Woot said Krell helped him find. And, uh, yeah, it actually has a fun little magical ability. Oh. If anyone would like to make an Arcana check. Fucking, I do. Yeah. Why not? My magic senses are going off. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Magic Christ. man rolled incredibly low. Got a plus eight. Got a plus two. A psychic dice. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that fucking bear, but I don't trust it. Fifteen. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh shit! Crow <laughs> fucking explodes. Well, she can't see it to sense the magic. <laughs> but uh, interestingly enough, Woots is the only one that gets it. Due to that yeah. extra plus one. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, it takes 15 Arcana check to discern its magical properties. Uh, when held during a long rest, so long as the user has bid Oscar goodnight, the artifact will cast one charge of magic circle that lasts eight hours, or until the u or until the user ends the rest with Oscar. The charge is then refilled at dawn. Huh. So basically, the teddy bear protects her while she sleeps. That's Aww. fucking awesome! What level That's is great. magic? Magic circle's a third level spell! It's a powerful bear. And that is a great gift from a brother to his slightly younger sister. Oh my gosh, that's a good choice! All right, who's next? Uh, I'll go. I go. Uh, Lara, Joshua, come here, both of you. I don't think they can get any closer physically on this uh, map. Yeah. Uh, I take one hair of each, feed into both. Uh, what's the name of the? For fuck's sake. <laughs> it's already a bad start. Bracelet. Yeah. Uh, oh, I the see. bracelets and give to... For each of them. Actually, I just put in on their poses, no, ask, no questions asked. They both tentatively accept it, as if that wasn't the weirdest thing that's happened to them recently. 
I will be I back in there. just a moment. Okay. Ooh. I got a phone call. How do you know it's a phone call? He's, uh, his pizza just got there. That's my prediction. Or he left some stuff in the oven. I'm, I'm guilty of doing that. I was playing, uh... I put some, I was baking cookies, and I was, uh... I wanted to go finish a DMC4 mission, and then I realized it's been two hours and I left the fucking cookies in the oven. Oh, God. I always put an alarm because I know I will not remember it. See, I just decided I'm just gonna stay downstairs with the oven from there on. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing shit with the oven, the minute, the I... moment I put my something in the oven, I pick my phone and set the alarm. Otherwise, I would never remember it. Other Cadbury cream egg. Yes. I only eat like two of these a year. These things are fucking so bad for you. What are those? They're basically they're chocolate eggs that are filled with like a, a sugar cream that looks like an egg yolk. Are we back they're to Cadbury really... cream eggs now? Yeah. <laughs> Keep really on eating good. them. <laughs> yeah, because I'm eating, I'm eating one. Oh. Um, yeah, dog knocked over the really... trash can, I had to go clean it up. Oh, I see. I thought, I predicted that uh, you got a pizza. No, why would I order a pizza for when I'm going to be in the middle of a game? I don't know. I do that shit before the game or after the game. Listen, I just thought it would be funny. Anyway, who's next to give gifts? I didn't finish. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I point to the bracelets. I think you already feel it, but you can sense where each where each other are and how healthy the other one is looking. Um. Well, thank you, Mr. Page. You're welcome. He <laughs> just without. <laughs> question or asking just pull the hair out of both of them and then hand them trinkets like that was the <laughs> weirdest thing ever i had to pull the hair to put in the bracelets i have my own theory of how magic items work okay all okay, right who's I next can, I, can, I can go next i will make way and um, set the uh a little clockwork dog down on the table and uh, I'll wind the key for the two of them this is like a it's a, a pet effectively uh, he gets tired after about half a day but he's mostly just a, a bit heavier of companionship I figured you two would enjoy well, yeah, you set the toy on the table, wind it up to show them how it works, and it begins moving around and acting like a uh, normal puppy would. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe we pick it up with like mage hands so it doesn't like start fucking like going for shit like the cake. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't have mage hand. Paige does. Paige has yeah, I, I will definitely not let it ruin my cake. Eh. Obviously, it's an active little man, but eh. Uh... That's it. That's how dogs are. They're playful. Alright. Krell has gifts for children. And they are, uh, more practical gifts. 
Krell's gifts is a pair of child-sized knives with ornate wooden handles and blades fashioned from a basilisk fang. Nice. Uh, so not only are right? they already impregnated with poison, but it is also a weapon that Lyra can use as a druid. <laughs> and, you know, Joshua's a rogue, so they go hand in hand. Where did the crow find the best Liz thing? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Oh, I do want the answers to that. Well, how easy would it be for Krell to one-on-one -on -one a basilisk whose major ability comes from if you see it, you turn to stone? <laughs> That's a good, good point. Good point. <laughs> I thought it was if it sees you, but... It's one word or another. I think it's if your gaze locks or something like that. I had we we I had I should know this because in like one of the first quests in Strixhaven, uh, Basilisk is on the random encounter table, and my group encountered like three of them. <laughs> I imagine it's basilisks, basilisks like snakes, but the D and D ones are like chubby little boys. <laughs> Here, you can't make yeah. shit that turns you into stone cute. Chubby. Yeah, snake. if a creature starts its turn within thirty feet of the basilisk, and the two of them can see each other, the basilisk can force the creature to make a Constitution save. There you go. Sure thing. Yeah, crowd <laughs> just beat the shit out of the basilisk. I'm just curious where you found the basilisk. My turn. <laughs> Don't bother the DM. Who needs details? I'm suddenly experiencing heart I mean, palpitations. It's only a CR3 creature. She'd have no problem 1v1-ing it. Yeah, we would jump the shit out of a basilisk and it would just go... Nah! Plus they're slow. And Krell is fast. <laughs> just imagine the comic, uh, Im the comic image of Krell running, throwing knives at the basilisk, picking up the knives and running again. Well, two of her the knives average. can teleport, so... <laughs> wouldn't even have to go that far. <laughs> That's what Final Fantasy 7 combat, no, not Final Fantasy 15 combat looks like. You played Monster Hunter? I have. It's kind of what that's like. <laughs> I need to really try to get into Monster Hunter more. I tried playing the new one, could not do it. I loved Monster I like Hunter World, but like, Rise, Rise couldn't Rise do it. Great. It's just like. I need people to play World with. <laughs> it's, it's one of those games. Alright. What did Woots get for children? Uh, Wood at some point would have gone out to try to find a beautiful, like, probably plant that's, like, you know, kind of unique and rare. And I mean, like, he probably stole it from some rich person's greenhouse or something like that. Oh, boy. Yeah, so... I give... Flower, a nice, exotic-looking plant that's, I don't know, whatever in the under-deep here, or like the under-deep plant that's, like, unique to it, but, like, very different, and I don't think we have it, so I give that to her, and I give the gift I stolen to Joshua. Yep, the puzzle. <laughs> I still don't know what to get. It was a wooden puzzle. It uh, was a wooden puzzle? Yeah. And I'll stay, say to the children, there's more to your studies. You gotta go outside them. My gift. Uh, they thank you in turn. Uh, did Spoon get gifts for children? I'm sure he did. I, I, he probably carved them something nice. <laughs> Got them some nice little wooden carvings. 
uh, the remaining members of the household present small toys and other such small gifts. Ah, real heartwarming moments, these. It feels like we've done a good... Maybe we are the good guys. <laughs> maybe... Maybe we are the good guys. <laughs> or are we? <laughs> okay, You're most of us are day. the good guys. Maybe. Maybe I put something sinister in those bracelets. Who knows? <laughs> Well, if okay, you kill these children, you'll probably be murdered almost immediately. <laughs> and I can guarantee you that not good things will happen to you if, as a result of the bracelet, bad things happen to these kids. Or I will break your knees and heal them repeatedly just to do it again. <laughs> and she can do that for quite some time. I can as well. I would help with that. <laughs> uh. All right. Does it sound like funny banter between friends? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I talk to my friends. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, the party is a pretty rousing success. Everybody has their fun and. Eventually, everybody settles out, and the party comes to an end. Things get cleaned up, and we go on with our evening. <sighs> well, now what? What next? What I noticed what you repeated the cake three times. What about what? the cake? Hansel, I noticed you repeated the cake three times. What about it? I did the cake. I made it. I think we... I think I established the other day that when I... I just... All I meant by my comment was I didn't know you could cook. I know, I, I just want compliments. I a guy who can cook. Yes, it was good at it. is on you like fifths a... of cake <laughs> you are a needy little man so what are our plans for the next what the fuck do we do now it's uh, yeah, yeah. well and as it stands, we're kind of waiting on two things. Our, uh, our new info broker friends, and uh, for Mimir to be done with his, his portal. So... I think we've got quite a bit of time on our hands. Maybe, it's, maybe we should do a bit of uh, our own research on... Uh, the weapons or anything else. Because as it stands, I'm not sure if we'll be able to uh, progress the task at hand. Oh no! Oh, come on. What happened? There's a hole in my favorite shirt. Oh shit. Is that when it happens? Damn. Mm. Okay, no one's sad. <laughs> trying to remember the name of a particular spell and my brain ain't working. I know what it does, oh. I just can't remember the name. That's kind of important. What, what does it do? do? Well, that would ruin things that are about to happen. Oh. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, just as I was about to say that we could do something, that, that we would have free time. Well, you got a few days. <laughs> um, I don't know what, what's this going to do. Hey. Yes, what I think. I think I know what I'm going to do as well. It was named the most stupid, obvious thing ever. <laughs> it's not really what it is? Yeah, I typed in like half of its name and it still didn't show up. So I'm like, is that not the name of the spell? So I'm just scrolling through the spells. Turns out it just decided not to fucking accept half of its name as a search query. But I found it. I've got, I've got three slots cast glyph of warding with for the next couple of days jeez <laughs> what do I want to do with that hmm. well, yeah quick well, summary of what you're doing for the next three days or so I mean what do I have here that's the real question Well, Mimir said he is sending us off for training, so we might want to do whatever we can to prepare for said training. Ah, preparations. Uh, God knows Bell what Western. that's gonna be. Bane, false task or speak if be dead. Hmm. Few items, investigate if another few things, and cross reference some other go, stuff. Perhaps we should go shopping for a. Uh, for potions. But, look, guys, look, guys, I think we should prepare to run away in case Mimir tries to kill us. I, I know he's a god and he could do it any moment now, but do you really trust that guy? Uh, I thought it was unimportant, so I assume. In a, in a certain sense, I believe so. I, I gotta actually read Glyph of Warning to make sure I know all of its rules. There's a lot of them. Oh, uh, I think I'll spend the next few days starting to finish up that spell. Girl's probably spending a lot of time meditating, communing with Loki. Preparing for whatever the hell Mimir has set ahead of us, and uh... Probably picking up at least a couple of potions. She usually doesn't carry any. But, uh, could definitely use them. At the very least, crafting a couple potions with herbalism. Oh, well that fucks up my whole plan. What the fuck? What do you mean? If this serves... the spell. What? I'm gonna try and not procrastinate actually making that homebrew spell this week. <laughs> Can't promise. Well, I've got a great so cliffhanger I... for you here in a second. <laughs> oh boy. Is the, room, is the room going to blow up? The room now. <laughs> so, so oh. <laughs> that sounds awfully <laughs> suspect. No. Just uh, going off what you asked. Be a little too literal. Yeah, glyph. Yeah, glyph of hoarding. Xenomorph? <laughs> no, <laughs> but the Xeno Sith, maybe. <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys are too easy to mess with. Well, I'm just we are that. young and impressionable. Yeah, I think aside from, like, maybe getting a couple, uh, healing potions and swapping some spells around, Hanzo's just doing a lot of, like, self-help. He's doing a lot of yoga. <laughs> guys, really... Maybe if you're Pilates? Yeah, <laughs> Pilates. <laughs> you, you were reading the books I uh, delivered to Spoon, but he never read it. I thought those yeah. were philosophy books. <laughs> yeah, but that's I don't know. kind of a self-help. If anything, Hansel's probably <laughs> getting in touch with his inner self through Wootz's teachings. Uh, don't need 
that. You need to hold in your belly for a few more seconds. Why would we How do you know that? <laughs> Back straight. There I think what's on purpose would go like 15, 15 seconds past what the time was <laughs> that we were supposed to do it at. Grab, just to fuck grab, with them. Grab Death Ward. My first level prep spells. Come on. But yeah, the few day goes past that eventually Mimir telepathically contacts all of us to let us know that uh, what he's been preparing is uh, completed. And to oh, come good. to the uh, workshop. Oh, well, let's see what the old man wants. And the workshop. My, uh... Here, here, making sure I have a potion of healing. All right. So we enter the room, and there are various. Uh runes inscribed in a circular pattern on the floor and uh page since you're the only one with a class that can use this spell <laughs> i'll give you a chance to identify it well what third level spell oh i already got rid of that's right so i'm gonna take nice. it. that my good sir is a teleportation circle and not just any teleportation circle, a perfected teleportation circle. And you know that it takes one full year of casting that spell every single day to make it permanent. <laughs> oh. Uh... Mimir just used high-level chronomancy to make this teleportation circle here. Weren't you in the workshop for like a day? Uh, approximately 360. We met two life days, by the by the way. Oh, you missed the birthday yesterday. Birthday. To me, it was almost a year ago. But. I'll live forever, so... Speck of dust in the desert, as it were. Oh, I hope I can say the same in the future. No, gather round, gather round, stand within the circle. Let's <laughs> not stand in the circles. Okay. Oh. So I checked to like, see if there's like any ill intent, just as like last ditch effort. <laughs> Ah, insight. Yeah, I just want to make sure, like, can I really trust this guy? I know he said he was unimportant, but, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, seems to be completely trustworthy. <laughs> I mean, if he was going to kill you, he can literally control time, so... <laughs> would have That's been so. effortless. Yeah, we all gather within the confines of the teleportation circle. Any last questions before I send you off? Uh, I hope the contra the pact I made did, 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 does not end before we are finished. I don't think that's a question, young man. I know, it's just wishful thinking. Anyone else? I have a question, nothing. Well, maybe it isn't court-related. What are we to expect? Quite possibly anything, actually. That doesn't... That's... That's a worrying prospect. <laughs> that's very vague, but it does answer the question. Okay. One more question. Ask where... What number am I thinking of right now? Eleven. You are really a curious soul. Well, I should just warn you guys, teleportation fucking sucks. 
Oh, we've quite perfected it. Uh, there should be no ill effects. Well, unless you happen to be mildly allergic to this one crystal component, but that's a whole thing. Anyway, aren't you at least the least bit curious to where I'll be sending you? Yes, Perfect. actually, I just didn't think you would disclose that. <laughs> More question about our location. Is the sun there? Uh, not the sun you are used to, unfortunately. Are we going to another have... plane? I think I have an idea of where we're going. <laughs> yes, you're definitely going to another plane, otherwise we would not have needed a portal. And as far as where you're going, the least I can tell you is... How shall I word this? I can tell you where you're not going to be. Safe. <laughs> and without oh, uh, further ado, the portal activates. And, uh... Welcome to the Feywild arc. <laughs> Yeah, I oh, fucking, hell I yeah. fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and that is where we'll end the session. <laughs>